Hey, I heard you got a new best friend Yet it's a bit I won't pretend that it doesn't matter That you're with someone else mm. In a way that's how it's supposed to be If I'm unable to make you happy then it's Good morning you guys, welcome back to another vlog Today is November 21st Craziness, madness, big bus driving by I am getting ready to take some pictures for an Instagram collab I'm doing, which by the time this video goes up, I would assume those pictures would be up. So make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'm very stressed because we are entering finals season. I talked about this in my other vlog a little bit, but it was more towards the end. And I know not everyone watches to the end. So yeah, I'm really stressed because... No, I mean, it's not finals week, technically, but it's the 21st next week, and when this video goes up, it'll be Thanksgiving, so we have off for a few days, and then we go back and basically just have finals, and I have my wills final and intellectual property final back to back, and those are probably going to be the hardest for me, so this morning I made my wills outline I made some of it last night, which was in a different vlog, and then I finished it this morning. I'm going to print it when I get to school so that I have it and I can just read it when I want to and I can just study. You know, I really need to study. I'm very stressed about finals this season because I took hard classes and I need to keep my GPA up. It's not like, you know, I don't have any set in stone like job offers where I could just bomb my GPA because it wouldn't matter although not that I would suggest doing that at all and not that you should even ever consider it but I I guess like if I had a concrete job lined up it would be a little bit of peace of mind but I still want to get good grades so that's stressing me out <laughs> If you see, I have some different pictures in the background. So many of you are going to be happy because you always make fun of me because my pictures were never even or measured right. And I know. This video is sponsored by Desenia. So I'm just going to insert that clip here because I did film that a little while ago because I wanted to be able to insert it in this vlog when this vlog goes up next week and not have to wait to hang all of these pictures. So I'm gonna insert the decennial footage here. Hey guys, it's Grace from the past because I wanted to show you the new wall art that I got from Decenio. This video is in partnership with Decenio, so thank you to them for sponsoring them. I've worked with them before in the past, probably about a year ago. I've had their art for a, a long time and I love it and I got some new pieces and I wanted to share them with you. So I wanted to hang them up and film this so I could put it in next week's video. Video, the video you're watching now so that you can get early access to their Black Friday sale. So if you use my code lipstick and lattes you get 40% off your order. Now that doesn't apply to frames or custom slash hand-picked prints but it applies to everything else. All of the art that I got is not custom or hand-picked so you can apply the code to that order and it will also get you access to their Black Friday weekend deals earlier. I cannot believe it's already Thanksgiving and Black Friday, which is why I wanted to film this earlier so that when this video goes up next week, all of this stuff will already be up. And I wanted to put the art up pretty much as soon as possible. So some of the art you've seen because I've had some of their pieces for a while, but I'm just gonna do a brief overview. These are the two that I decided to put above the bed. Good things take time and take a walk on the wild side. I think they look really cute together, more minimalist, and I know so many of you guys hated when I had all four of them together because I didn't uh, make sure they were even. So this is better and it's a little bit more minimal. But the main difference is out in the living room. We used to have a hanging like dress thing here, which is just super old. Time to get rid of it. So I ordered these ocean prints so this is like a pink ocean print and this is also a pink ocean print that i used to have in the bathroom but i moved out here pink palm trees and then these little champagne glasses so these are the ones that are on this wall by the door when you come in and our bedroom door i just think it's a nice beachy vibe jesse says it's girly i thought it was less girly than the dress so i think it works a little better and you guys know I love the beach. I would do anything to live at the beach, but I don't. So this is all I can get. And we also put the champagne glasses that used to be in the bedroom out here above our coffee maker, along with this black and white palm tree print, which I'm obsessed with. And then just to even it out, we put the it's time to drink champagne and dance on tabletops print. 
just to balance out this wall. So we have the big square in the middle and then the two champagne references on either side. So if you guys liked any of that art or you're just interested in having some more art in your house, make sure you check out Desenio, the link below, and use my code lipstick and lattes to get 40% off because they have the cutest stuff. If you are really girly or if you're decorating a child's bedroom or if you're more masculine style, architecture, botanical, nature, ocean, like they literally have something for everyone and it's very, very reasonably priced. Art and wall hangings and stuff like that can get outrageously expensive, especially when you're looking for prints. It can get very, very expensive. So Desenio is a great way to get that stuff for cheaper and I wanted to make sure you guys could see this before their Black Friday sale. So make sure you go check that out in the link below. So now back to the regular vlog and present time. And yeah, I've worked with Desenio before, as you guys know, I've had their pictures up in my room for a year and I'm very happy to finally have level pictures in the background and the living room just looks so much better. So I'm gonna do my makeup. I'm gonna do my makeup off camera because I feel like I've shown it a hundred times. It's only nine o'clock. I didn't work out this morning because I wanted to do my wills outline and that's arguably more important than working out. And I just honestly like wasn't in the mood to work out whatsoever. I'm gonna do my makeup. I'm watching Abby's new video and I'll get back to you when I'm done. So I just finished taking, oops, my pictures for Instagram. And now I'm going to edit them. I use the Tezza app. It's $3.99 a month, but honestly, you get so many presets. You can edit videos too, like put filters on them. And I'm just kind of sick and tired of these Lightroom presets that every Instagrammer, blogger, influencer has that makes you look so orange, so grainy. Like, I don't even get it. And they're all like $50. I've never bought a preset that was more than $5. I buy them on Etsy usually. But Tez is so much better, guys. And it doesn't make your pictures grainy or blurry. And even if you don't like the way it looks in Tezza, you can still go into Lightroom after and like brighten it up, darken the darks, whatever. This isn't an Instagram editing video. So I'm not going to talk more about it, but I'm going to drink water right now, have a built bar, and sit here. It's only 9.55, so I'll leave in like a half hour. I'm all ready to go. I'll show you my outfit. I am going to wear a blazer, but I just keep the blazer in my car since I pretty much only wear it to work. It's my regular H&M blazer, but this sweater is from Forever 21 last year. It's just a like tight striped sweater. Belt is Target. Shoe, I was gonna say shoes. Pants are J. Crew Ruby pants. So many of you guys DM me on Instagram asking about these. They're J. Crew Ruby pants and they're always linked below. Shoes are HM and jacket is pretty little thing. So this is the outfit of the day. I'm gonna head out to school. Maybe I'll stop and get coffee. I'm not sure yet. And I'll see you later. That's why I wrote you a letter. Look at the mess. You know what, guys? I left this morning. It was so clean. I was so happy and proud of Jesse for leaving it in such spotless condition. But anyways, he left it so clean this morning, and this is what I come home to. Sorry I didn't vlog literally all day, but I got out of class, and I had to go literally right to work, and I didn't vlog anything. Sometimes, like, you'll get a little clip in between there, but I, like, ran to work. And then I worked until like 6.15 and then I got a drink with Liana, which she saw a little bit of. And I got home. I had to do some more work, which I just sent over. So now I'm done and it's 8.30. So tired. I need to wash my face and all that jazz. I already picked out my outfit tomorrow. I'm wearing a dress and I'm going to vlog tomorrow so you'll see it. I need to make a thumbnail for the YouTube video I'm supposed to put up tomorrow. Thumbnails are like the hardest part for me because I never know should I just do like two pictures like two little square pictures or do like screenshots in the video. I'm going to make a thumbnail, wash my face, and go to bed. Good 
morning, you guys. I just got ready for work. I have to head out the door, but I want to show you my outfit. I've worn this outfit before, but here we go. Dress is H&M. Belt, of course, is Target. Shoes are H&M as well, so yeah. And I left my blazer at work, so I won't have that because I'm going to a meeting first thing this morning. But I need to head out the door pretty quickly, so I'm just gonna put on a coat and go. It's now Saturday. This vlog has just been bits and pieces of me saying hi guys. Now it's hi guys. Now it's you guys know when I'm at work Obviously, I can't vlog so like Fridays are really a bad day to vlog, but I did get some clips of Me freezing my ass off. I had to walk to a courthouse to file something and I didn't know it was cold out It was supposed to be 55 degrees and sunny yesterday guys It was 40 and raining and then I got my hair done at Martina's as you can clearly tell it looks even better on camera, honestly. She did an amazing job. I got highlights and lowlights. So the ends of my hair no longer are just like completely blonde so that it blends better. And I'm not going brunette or anything. I just wanted a, a blend between this. The ends of my hair were just purely double process, like bleach and tone for when I used to have full double process. And the tops of my hair was all natural with highlights. So I needed to blend that and she did a really, really good job. Next time I get my hair done, probably in like two months or so, I'll just get more highlights. So it's a little bit blonder up here and that's it. So I really love it. She did a great job. I can't wait to style it because I just blew dry it myself last night because uh, it was freezing. But... I can't wait to style it, like curl it and see what it looks like. It's 10.30 though. Just ate breakfast with my parents and I'm gonna study wills. I'm hoping to study for two hours today. I feel like that's a good starting point for wills. Um, intellectual property is a dumpster fire right now and the other two classes are pretty much okay for now. Once I start studying, we'll do a little montage and then I'm not gonna vlog until I'm done studying. So that's it. later guys I did it the full two hours that one hour I really wanted to give up but I didn't I stuck it out and studied and I'm proud of myself so now it's like 1 30 wow I vacuumed and cleaned the litter box which are my usual Saturday to do's and just washed my face and stuff and now I'm gonna do my makeup later um, like around 7 we're going with our friends to see one of their friends I think he's like playing music or something. He has like a PhD in music, which is really cool. He went to a really good school. I don't remember where. Okay, I just got ready. You know when you get your hair done and you need to like get completely ready so you can just get the full effect? It's two o'clock. Uh, I still have no plans. I haven't done anything or made any attempts to make plans. I've just gotten ready. I don't know what to do with my day. Okay, I've just decided. <coughs> 
I've just decided to go to DSW and maybe like home goods or at home or one of those places because I have nothing better to do with my life right now and I finished studying and I'm ready and I have nothing to do. Jesse is at a shooting range right now for his friend James's birthday. That's like what they wanted to do for his birthday. So he's unavailable to hang out. James is actually the best man at our wedding. So fun fact, but Jesse's like, oh, do you want to come? And I was like, I'd literally rather do nothing than go to a shooting range. I'm just going to go to DSW. I do, and I hate saying need for stupid things like this, but I want a pair of flat boots that aren't my studded combat boots because the only pair of flat boots that I have to wear with like leggings or just a casual outfit are my studded Steve Madden combat boots which not only are severely out of style but they're just like ridiculous with leggings and a sweatshirt so I just want a pair of flat boots because all my other boots have heels and maybe a pair of like slip-on sort of Uggs not necessarily Uggs but just you know fluffy boots to wear with leggings or sweatpants when I run out to get coffee in the morning or go to class and don't care what I look like. So this is what I'm going to wear to go shopping. So this sweater is from Romway. My first year of law school I got this. I wore this sweater all the time. You guys used to like make fun of me for it and I don't really think I wore it much last year but it's just a really nice soft sweater. Jeans are H&M and shoes are Sam Edelman. But this is the outfit. I'm just going to toss on a coat and go. So I'll take you guys with me. I just left Home Sense or whatever the store was. First of all, DSW had literally two pairs of flat boots and they were cute, but they were kind of like the Tommy Hilfiger ones were expensive. They were like $100, so no way. Didn't really like anything else. They did have the like vegan or whatever line of Uggs and I would have gotten them, honestly. They were fine, but the line was so long. I just couldn't do it. And then I went to Home Sense or at home or whatever and looked for a tree skirt and and they only had like the big tree skirts, which I kind of expected. I mean, why would like this kind of store have the mini tree skirts? Now it's almost four. I'm just gonna go home. Jesse should be home around like <clears throat> like five-ish, so. I just got home and put on a Christmas movie because I'm in the Christmas spirit. It's whatever new Christmas movies on Netflix with Vanessa Hudgens, The Christmas Night. Probably not as good as, I think the last one was A Christmas, The Christmas Prince or something. That was really good in a bad way, but I'm gonna watch this until it's time to go. All right, so now it's like 6.15. I just watched a Princess Diana documentary for like two hours. And this is my outfit. The sweater has like striped sleeves. It's from Forever 21 last year. You, I, if you've watched me for a while, you've definitely seen it, but it's just black and white striped sleeve sweater. Belt is Target. Jeans are the same H&M jeans from before. And boots are H&M from like two years ago. This is the outfit. Oh, and the jacket is pretty little thing. So this will be linked below. Whatever I can find will be linked below, I think. Urban Outfitters makes a dupe of this sweater or um, misguided, so I'll link it below. But we gotta go. Jesse's outfit is from Nordstrom. Ready? Yeah. Good morning, you guys. Whoa, my hair is nuts right now. Um, good morning, guys. It's now Sunday, last day of this vlog. Last night we went out to dinner. It was such a crowded restaurant. It was very small, it was packed so loud and we were home by like nine o'clock i watched the rest of my princess diana documentary and went to bed so it's pretty wild but right now we just got duncan and jesse just went in to get breakfast from like a bagel place and i think i'm gonna study for conflict today at least like start my outline for that and maybe start my outline for education law 
just so everything is sort of started instead of me being like really ready for wills and not ready at all for the other things. So I'm gonna do those two, intellectual property, I'll probably wait until tomorrow. I have a little bit of an outline started, but not much. So I'll probably wait until tomorrow for that. That's the update. I'll talk to you when I'm at home and I don't look so terrible. My hair is like so curly right now. spent the day outlining and just doing various random things so I haven't really vlogged much because I've literally been sitting on the couch all day doing outlines but I finished my education law outline and my conflict of law outline I still like want to add things to them and make it a little more organized but the substance of most of them is done so that's good I've accomplished what I needed to accomplish today now I'm just watching YouTube videos Alright guys, I just wanted to end this vlog because it's been going on for far too long, I feel like. It's now Monday. I just got up, got ready. I'm going to edit this vlog, so I want to make sure I ended it. I really hope you guys enjoyed, even though it was kind of a conglomeration of many days, which I don't usually combine, but I hope you enjoyed it anyways. My life is still a little hectic vlogging wise because I don't have much time during the week to actually vlog so I'm still trying to figure that out but nevertheless I hope you enjoyed give the video a thumbs up if you did if you guys want 40% off a decennial order where you can get all these cute prints like the ones you've seen throughout this vlog make sure you click the link below and you can also get early access to their black friday sale so make sure you check that out if you're interested subscribe if you aren't already subscribed I'm almost at 50,000 and I will see you again in the next video peace out